Welcome to Solvetic, your channel to always learn technology easily. Below in the description, you will find useful links we used in this video. Today in Solvetic, we will see how to use the Windows Terminal completely. Chapter 1. How to use Terminal with Windows Tabs To begin, we are going to open the terminal. To do this, right-click on the Start menu and then click on Terminal Admin. Confirm System Permissions. There you can make use of the terminal. To open a new tab, you will click on the plus sign. If you want to duplicate a window, you are going to use the Citral plus D keys. To close a window, you will use the control keys, Shift, W. Chapter 2. How to use the terminal with Windows panels. To start open the terminal, then press the Alt key on your keyboard and click on the plus sign. You will see a new terminal panel open. If you want to open a panel vertically, use the combination of Alt Shift Plus. If you want to open a panel horizontally, use the combination of Alt Shift Minus. To close a window, you will use the keys Control Shift W. Chapter 3. How to use the terminal with options menu. To begin, we are going to open the terminal. Use the Control shift p keys to access the terminal's contextual options menu and see its menu of options and shortcuts. Chapter 4. How to use the terminal with settings. To begin, we are going to open the terminal. Then, click on the drop-down icon and there click on settings to access these values. To begin, we are going to open the terminal. Then, click on the drop-down icon and there click on settings to access these values. In the interaction section, it is possible to configure the actions between the terminal and the user. From appearance, we will be able to change the theme of the terminal and make adjustments to its appearance. Hey, remember to subscribe Solvetic channel. From color schemes, we can define the way the terminal will look in Windows using any of the available options. If you want your own style, click Add New, you can define the name and the color scale to use. If for some reason this style is not necessary, you can click on Delete Color Scheme. You must confirm this action. From the Processing section, we can adjust terminal performance values. In the Action section, we will have access to all the key combinations to execute commands in the terminal. 
You can click on the pencil icon to edit the action by pressing the new keys on your keyboard. At the top you can click Add New and create your own combination of commands in the Windows Terminal. Now in the Profile section you are going to click on Default Values. In this section you will have access to a set of profile editing options. At the bottom you can adjust both the appearance of the profile and access some advanced options for this profile. In the Windows PowerShell section you can adjust the behavior of the console when used as PowerShell. In the Command Prompt and Azure Cloud Shell sections we have the same options as in PowerShell. You may want to create your own profile by clicking Add a New Profile, then click on New Empty Profile. You can assign the name and define the variables of this profile. If the profile is no longer useful, you can open it and click Delete Profile. You are going to confirm the action and save the changes to delete this profile from the terminal. Finally, you will be able to create a backup copy of the terminal. For this, you are going to click on Open JSON File, select with which application it will open, You will see the entire structure of the terminal, there you will go to the file menu and then click save as. Assign a name and in the type field you must select all files. This will give you a copy of the terminal. We hope it has been helpful for you. Here are links to watch more videos of your interest and subscribe to the Solvetic channel. Thank you.